Now pan seared fish and today we are going to prepare pan seared card and that's a uh, loin of card which is the best part of the filet in lemon butter sauce along with blistered cherry tomatoes and capers and garlic it tastes fantastic so let's get started friends welcome back to gastro guru kitchen i'm gastro guru and today for you i'm going to be preparing pan seared card so card is a fish which is awesome when you cook it with a lemon butter sauce and what we're going to do is we're going to cook it with blistered cherry tomatoes and capers alrighty it's going to taste fantastic so let's get started with our pan seared lemon butter sauce card all right friends so first thing what we're going to do is we are going to season our card loin this is a card loin the difference between a cord loin and a card fish fillet is that the loin has the best and the meatiest part of the fillet. It doesn't have the thin tail end or the uh, either side, alrighty? So that's why we choose the card loin. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to add some, sprinkle some salt on top. Okay. Sprinkle some crushed black pepper. Then I'm going to be adding a bunch of red chili powder just to give it color and a little bit of extra heat. Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, sprinkle the red chili powder on top. And then sprinkle the salt on the bottom part. Okay. And then, same thing, crushed black pepper on top. Okay, so now, as you can see, our card loin is ready to be pan seared. Alrighty? All right, friends. So the first thing we're going to do is pan sear our card loin filet. So I have a pan over here that's now fairly hot. I'm going to add two tablespoons of good quality olive oil in it. Okay. And then what we're going to do is swirl the pan to coat it nicely. And the pan is going to be hot real soon. So then what we'll be doing is adding the card loin fillet to that. Alrighty. Okay, so at this point, the ants are pretty hard. You can hear this here, and all this extra seasoning that's in the plate, we're going to add to that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to can here that for a couple of minutes on either side, and that's going to be on medium flame. And right now, all we have to do is pan sear it. Then, you know, we'll be adding it back to the pan. So, you know, don't worry about it not being cooked fully. That's looking good. I'm going to flip the filet. Look at that. How beautiful that seal is already. I mean, we hardly cooked it for a couple of minutes. Okay. So now we're going to see the other side. And this is a fairly easy recipe, but it tastes fantastic. Okay, so at this point, we're going to see how the other side is of the filet. Look at that. It's looking fantastic. So 
just going to you know, dig it off the pan and set it aside, okay? Okay, so now the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to make our veggies blister. So here I have about eight cherry tomatoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to blister them by rolling them in here. Okay. And soon they'll become fairly soft and blistered. And it will taste amazing with the fancy of card. As you can see, they're already beginning to soften up. I'm just rolling them. Okay. Now at this point, what we're going to do is, we're going to set them aside. And I'm going to add three pods or close of chopped garlic. That goes in there. Okay. And we're going to again, roll the garlic in the olive oil. Next thing that's going to go in there is one tablespoon a little over water. Okay. The butter is going down quickly. Okay. So basically we are building the lemon butter sauce with garlic right now. The tomatoes are becoming nicely blistered. If you love that, you can see that beginning to soften up and crumble. Okay. Now, next thing that's going to go in here is one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. You can add more, but then we can put on for the to sour. So, there we go. That's looking awesome. Smells amazing. Okay. Next thing that we will add is one teaspoon of dry basil and oregano mix. Just to give it some herby flavor. Okay. And that's looking amazing. Oh my god, it smells fantastic. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a one teaspoon of capers. Capers are going to a nice, funky, sour flavor. And that's looking good. And at this point, we're going to reintroduce our fancy cod that we have here earlier. Okay. And all those amazing juices. Now, obviously, this doesn't take too long, you know, and you're going to reduce the heat to low. Oh, yeah, look at the tomatoes. They're looking fantastic. And then you got the papers in that. And we're just going to flip this one more time. Because I want to show you how that looks. Look at that. Oh, my God. At this point, I'm going to use the spoon and I'm going to pour some of this lemon buttery sauce on top of our card one filet. And that's it, we are done. Time to place this amazing card one filet with biscuit tomatoes capers and the lemon butter sauce alrighty so there you have it folks uh, amazingly delicious pan seared cod it's a uh, cod loin that's the best part of the filet along with blistered tomatoes and capers in a lemon butter sauce and seasoned with dry oregano and basil
So please check out this awesome recipe on my YouTube channel, Gastro Guru, and please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much, and bon appetit.